to know the potential difference supplied by the battery. Now I look at this circuit and realize it's a combination circuit with a series portion and a parallel portion. And I know that the total voltage is equal to the total current, which is 8, it's given to me, times the total resistance. I'm given every resistor. Therefore, it's easy to find a replacement, an equivalent resistor for all of them. So let's find that. We begin by looking at the parallel portion, and 1 over the parallel portion equals 1 over 3, that's 1 over R2, plus 1 over 3, that's uh, R3. Well, this is easy. 1 over RP, the parallel portion, is equal to a third plus a third, which equals 2 thirds. And I say, oh, look, the parallel portion simply equals 3 halves. <laughs> Just take the inverse. And I have 1.5 ohms for that parallel portion. I can replace it. It's the equivalent. Therefore, I can now find the total resistance, which is equal to now this parallel portion, right, or that series portion, 3 plus the parallel portion. And my total resistance now is 4.5 ohms. I found the total resistance. Well, now that I have the total resistance, let's write that down so we don't forget, RT is equal to 4.5 ohms. Well, I have, notice, the total current already, which is uh, 8 amps. And therefore, I can say V equals IR which is 8 times 4.5. Total current, total resistance. And my voltage, 36 volts. Now let's take a look at a completely different way of doing it. Let's take a different approach. Now notice this time I have a current and I have R1, meaning I can find the voltage drop across that resistor. V is I times R, and you know, don't even read it for a calculator. 3 times 8 is 24 volts. I now know the drop through there. Now, I have two resistors that are both the same, and a current of 8 amps. And these resistors are in parallel. Now, what that means is, if 8 amps comes in, and I have two resistors, there's the 8 amps, and they now come into... Um, two resistors that are in parallel that are exactly the same, I have 4 amps through each arm. It will divide evenly through the resistors. Well look, now that I have both R and the I, I can find the voltage drop across any one of those resistors. And it's going to be 12, 4 times 3, through any, any of them. It's 4 times 3 is 12, the total drop. Therefore, the total loss of voltage will be the 24 plus the 12, and that must be then the gain in the battery. 24 plus 12, 36 volts.